Welcome again. We are continuing on where we left from on moments, and today we have a question um, that says that a uniform beam four meters long is simply supported at two points A and B. The beam carries the loads uh, shown. So maybe you can pause your video and try and examine the forces where they are located and the point of supports. We are asked to calculate the magnitude of the support reactions A and B magnitudes of the support reactions A and B. So this is what we are going to exactly found. So A and B. Now, I want to put this to be very simple for us to understand. If you have the two points of supports and you want to at least get a single side because that tells us that if we happen maybe to get the magnitude of B, we can easily get here because we can use the load that all upward moments should be equal with downward moments. But in such a question, what you need to do is that at least identify one place as your point of support. Such so that if I'm going to pick, let's say, point A as my point of support, I'll use RB as reaction upwards. Hope that one is home. And if I'm going to pick my point B as my point of support, then a reaction A would be a force going upwards and all these other forces would be going downwards. What does that tell us? At least we have an option of deciding which one is, is going to be our point of support. In my case today, I'm going to pick my point A as my point of support. And I'll have a diagram as this. Let's make it simpler. A diagram of this kind. So I'll have this as 600 for the 600 have this 400 newtons, a thousand newtons, sorry, and 850 at far end. Now, remember I said that this would now be a reaction upwards. Let me call it RB. I'm given the distance as that 1.5, 1.5, uh, this is 0 0.5, and the rest, this is my point of support. And this one to a thousand is 2 meters meters so the the beam was 400 remember this is the farthest side so let's count this other end out so the remaining distance is 0 0.5 now i've simply translated this to be a force pointing upwards so i'll have three forces pointing downwards and a single force pointing upwards now let's determine in the in the in the four forces which one will be going clockwise and which one will be going anti-clockwise Now, 800 and Newton force, if I'm placing this RA as my point of support, I'm assuming this is my beam, and uh, this place is fixed, this force will tend to be going in that particular direction if I'm forcing it as that. So this one would go in clockwise direction. The same with a 1,000 from my point of reaction. So a 1,000 would as well be the clockwise direction. For the RB, remember, the same fixed point but we are applying a force upwards a force upwards so it will tend to move this beam up as that and this is the anti-clockwise moment so rb would be the anti-clockwise moment about 600 please observe the 600 point i'm applying my force from here so this will tend to move that beam in clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction sorry so this is anti-clockwise direction from the law of moments that we said initially we we'll now have our um, law s clockwise which is a thousand newtons a thousand newtons times the distance remember we said from the point of support perpendicular from the point of support so the distance from ra to a thousand newtons is two meters so times two meters plus 850 newtons change that 850 newtons times the distance so it will be the total distance from the point of support to where we are applying a force of 850 so this is 2 and 1.5 and 0 0.5 that simply gives us 4 meters 4 meters should be equal to the anti-clockwise moment the one anti-clockwise moment would now be reaction B reaction B, mark that. So RB, which is the unknown force, times the distance of 
2.5 meters. We also have a force of 600 newtons, which we said it's going anti-clockwise. So this is an addition of 600 and a distance of 0 0.5 meters. So you can go ahead and get the products uh, of every of these moments. So this would be 200 newton meter plus so a, a thousand this was a thousand a thousand and this would now be 2000 newton meter 850 times 4 to be 3400 newton meter should now be equal to their known force this would be 2.5 rbm meters this entire is in newtons plus this is the product which is um, to give us the 600. You can use your calculator for that. This to be accurate. So this is 300 Newton meter. So you find that our known force is in the other side of the equal sign. So it would be easy for us to get the 300 Newtons on this other end. So this would simply be 5400 Newton meter or for the clockwise moment minus 300 newton meter should be equal to 2.5 rb meters so this would simply be 5100 newton meter equal to 2.5 rbm so divide this all by 2.5 by 2.5 remember this in meters and meters so our final answer here would be you can calculate that so fast let's take your time this would be, I'm getting 2,040 newtons for my case. So this is the magnitude of reaction B. Magnitude of reaction B. Remember it's in newtons because you've simply cancelled out the aspect of mm, which is the meters. So our reaction B is 2,040 newtons. newtons. Now we were asked as well to get the magnitude of reaction the point of support a now we're using the law that we want to say that all upward forces upward forces should be equal to all downward summation of all downward downward forces now the forces that were acting downwards were 600 newtons plus a thousand newtons plus 850 newtons should be equal to upward forces which is now reaction a our point of support plus rb which we calculated previously as 20 40 newtons now all of them are in newtons that way we'll, we'll just get our ra in terms of n or the newtons so summation of all this with your calculator you can just get that so fast and so swift uh -huh. 850 so this is 2450 newtons or for the downward forces should be equal to ra plus 40 so this is addition so if we take it on the other end so we can have ra on the right hand side so this would be 2450 newtons minus 2040 to give us our reaction a so simply our ra would now be mm -hmm. Our RA would now be 410, 410 newtons. Hope you are getting the same. So this is the required answer in our question. So reaction A would be 410 newtons. Reaction B is 2040 newtons. So it was that simple. And if you are given such a question now, you can be able to meet it without any worry. Thank you for watching. I hope you do more practice on the same. I'll see you on our next class.